We begin tonight with that change at the top after Police Commissioner James O'Neill announced his resignation today. He'll be replaced by Dermot Shea, who is currently the chief of detectives. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live tonight in Lower Manhattan, and Detective Shea will certainly be inheriting his fair share of issues. Jessica. That's for sure, Maurice and Christine. Dermot Shea is taking on all kinds of problems with this new post, both inside and outside One Police Plaza. But today, as NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill said his goodbyes both to the press and to New York City, he said he is confident Shea is the man for the job. I mean, I'm going to miss it. I'm, I really am. I, I love being a cop. Police Commissioner James O'Neill put longtime rumors of his resignation to rest Monday, announcing after more than 35 years with the NYPD, his new reality will be with the private sector. It's something I couldn't pass up. Paving the way for a new top cop. Dermot Shea has been with the department for 28 years, working his way as a beat cop on the streets of the South Bronx to most recently the chief of detectives. I could not possibly be prouder. But the Queens born incoming commissioner inherits the problems O'Neill is leaving behind, like community mistrust. There were five police involved shootings last month. We have zero tolerance for any attacks on our officers. We've got a lot more to do in terms of building a tighter bond between police and community. So Councilman Donovan Richards, the chair of the Public Safety Committee, wants to know why the mayor didn't choose a black or Hispanic person for the job. Sources say First Deputy Commissioner Ben Tucker, absent from this announcement, was a contender. There was a missed opportunity to ensure that the top cop in the department certainly reflected the diversity of the department and of the city of New York. The mayor addressed that. That Monday night. You will see an intensification of diversity in the leadership ranks in the coming years. We don't know Dermot Shea, but we are sending him a clear message. Hours after the announcement, protesters called on the new commissioner to get to work addressing this recent altercation between the NYPD and a group of teens at the Brooklyn Metro Tech station. Fix the NYPD by getting rid of that officer that assaulted this young man. The new head of the NYPD will also have to prioritize mental health after several rank and file recently took their own lives and rebuild morale after the firing of Officer Daniel Pantaleo in the chokehold death of Eric Garner. Some speculate the case is the straw that broke the camel's back in pushing O'Neill to call it quits. It wasn't a motivating factor in my decision. I'm not going to stand up here and say it didn't weigh on me heavily. This is the right time for me, and it's uh, time... I have to move forward. Commissioner James O'Neill still has a few weeks left on the job. Dermot Shea takes over on December 1st. We're live outside One Police Plaza tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.